um, they were saying at Bilderberg a few years ago that they would promote body mod stuff and wearable tech. Body mod, yeah. let's be really specific. Body all modification? Forms, all forms. Is that body modification? All forms of it, yeah. All right. So and then it, be, it, it would be integrated explain with. Explain this shit. These aren't fucking, it's not Sam Tripoli out here. <laughs> you know I mean, let's, let, so body modification. Do you want me to start? I can talk like Sam Tripoli. No, I just <laughs> want to. Stop doing impressions. Um, the right. So body modification ties into preparing us for, they said at Bilderberg, the former head of uh, Google, Regina Dugan, she said that it would be to get people to take microchips and nanotech and all that stuff down the road. And that's the So point. a piercing, so just so I can dumb it down, in your nose and a tattoo on your neck is a baby step to the next shit. From their vantage point. I'm not saying that you're bad if you have a... You know, yes. That, that's not the point. But from their vantage point, it was like, let's push this in the culture to get people ready to basically have the tech in them. If that makes sense. Because they yeah. also want to get people um, trying to splice their DNA with animals. I saw that. Yeah. No, like Dr. Moreau. Yeah. Why do they want that? And you saw the monkey thing, right? They just had the monkey human embryo. Because anything that goes against God, it's the inversion of something pure that was created. Um, so what we talk about sometimes is the movie 2001 and that big black monolith and that represents the um insertion of technology to make a like a quantum leap forward in evolution it's a great take according to them and this uh is going to happen whether we want it to or not so explain that a little bit more so the the black monolith represents like um the the weapon do you remember when it comes down and they learn how to in all uh, phases the tools the technology yeah, yeah. so um from uh, bone to space right in my talk i talk about how stanley kubrick wanted um to project images onto the black monolith to show you that this was um the movie screen so it's a occulted idea that the you know the black mirror or the black rectangle is actually the black movie screen okay which comes to facilitate another uh leap in evolution which uh, not everybody is going to partake of so the elite want to go into space they want to download themselves into non-carbon based containers they say okay um <clears throat> but on the road to that we're gonna have to do like gene splicing and have like part man part dolphin i mean kids are already identifying as animals 100 percent. but why do we need because you you said a lot of things there and i'm trying to keep it simple so you say it goes against god why do you and if you believe in god or a higher power whatever why do you need to splice a human with an animal to get to this technology because that is like the um, the beginning of Genesis when they were splicing, they were creating humid fallen angel hybrids, right? Well, I would say that it's kind of like splitting the atom, you know, at the Trinity site where they, you know, set off those bombs. I mean, the, it's kind of a ritual action. So it's like to divide is kind of like you think back to ancient sacrifices, you divide the sacrifice. They split the atom to release the energy, and I think that these kinds of actions that are um, going against what's kind of in nature to blend things that probably shouldn't be blended, right? And it's an action of, of going against what's in the created order to create something new, like a magical purpose. Does that make sense? It's an act of defiance. Yeah, it's an act of defiance that, that releases energy. An act of defiance to who? In front in, in God's face? Yeah. 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 Or the great creator or whatever yeah, you believe. Yeah. Yeah. And by doing that, what do they get? They think it's the great work, right? All of these actions contribute to the great work, which is taking man to become God, basically. Like, I'm so into the knowledge. Like, I is just it do distracting. That. Well, I just do that for a living. So it's like, just look at that. Yeah. Well, no, it's like, you know what I mean? It's like yeah. at MIT and some guy's teaching you how to fucking, like, you know, do nanotech. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, let's just. 
This so but wait, that, but that's just the real me. Is like I like because if if I stay too dark on this kind of stuff, you know, it's like yeah, you, if you just really talk about it. this dark stuff. It's you have to kind of be ridiculous at times. You'll go nuts. I agree. So <sighs> there's so much here. So I just want to stay so simple. Okay. This term elites are used all the time. Who? So would you agree that 150 people rule the world? There's a great book. There's 300. John, so is that Doc, what? So Dr. Three, Dr. John Coleman's book, Committee 300, is really good on this topic. Yeah. So 150 to 300. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So would you say, let's just say Jeff Bezos is one of those people? He's probably up there. Okay. So these elites, they get together. And they have this plan. And they want to live forever, which I don't want to die. But they actually have inside information that they can. I don't think they actually can, but they think that they'll be able to. But you kind of can. Forever? Well, with what they're talking about with aging and with life extension and what your wife was saying about downloaded into these, you know, carbon, non-carbon yeah. Kind of happening in cryotherapy. They're being frozen. I mean. So you're saying like Vanilla Sky level. I never saw that movie. But what I'm trying to tell you is there's definitely. I don't, I think we're five years away from really extending life very long. Life, life extension. Yeah. But I mean. So if all you have to do is get to the bridge. Right. That's what. They, they that's what Homeboy want, says from Google. They do want the immortality without God. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think they'll actually achieve immortality. But. I think it's a belief. It's already happening. Aubrey de Grey, he talks about it all the time. Do you know that? Well, is? yeah. Okay. So they're talking about... Kurzweil says yeah. by 2030, we're already ahead of schedule. So if you're transhuman, you can live for a long time. Well, he projects that by 2030, 50, that'll be happening but that doesn't mean it's going to happen because he projects it he also points out the problems and he's like we can't really download your mind into a computer because your brain is situated for like your limbs right yeah have motor capacity so it wouldn't really work for your brain or your mind to be in a computer because it's not made it's made for motor functions and having you know a body so he actually says if we're going to do it you need to make the body somehow live forever so, but he's saying that, you know, that's a long way away, but I'm skeptical of a lot of the claims of transhumanists. So transhumanism, Satanism or whatever, sex magic, Hollywood, <laughs> DC, it's all kind of tied together. Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you something simple and let's just, I'm going to try to stay focused because we've got so many things. <laughs> 